In this video, I will take one numerical on Thevenin's theorem. Obtain the Thevenin's equivalent circuit across terminals AB for the circuit shown below. This is the given circuit. We are supposed to find the Thevenin's equivalent circuit at terminal A and B. So here we can see that this circuit consists of two independent sources that is 150 volt source, 5 amp source and one voltage dependent voltage source. If the circuit is consists of dependent source then we need to find three parameters that is we are supposed to find VTH that is feminine voltage we have to find ISC that is short circuit current then we are supposed to find Thevenin's resistance that is RTH so first let me calculate VTH so VTH is nothing but Thevenin's voltage that is voltage at open terminals is nothing but VTH so voltage across AB is nothing but VTH. So first let me calculate VTH. So in this circuit as terminal A is open the current through this 30 ohm register is 0. So no current flows in 30 ohm register. Therefore the voltage Vx is nothing but voltage VTH that is Vx and VTH will be same. Now let me calculate VTH. So we'll assume that the current through this loop is say x and any current 5 amp is flowing here the current through this loop is that is 5 amp so no current flows in 30 ohm register now let me apply kvl to this loop so i can represent it as vx by 3 is equal to we have 10x minus 150 that is this terminal is minus this terminal is plus plus we have vx that is voltage across 50 ohm register is vx let me write here what is vx vx will be equal to 15 x minus 5 that is voltage across 15 ohm register is vx so voltage across 15 ohm register is 15 into x minus 5 y 5 voltage across 15 ohm register is 15 into x minus 5. So let me simplify this that is Vx by 3 minus Vx is equal to 10x minus 150. So this is nothing but minus 2 by 3 Vx is equal to 10x minus 150 or I can represent it as 150 is equal to 10x plus 2 by 3 Vx. Let me continue here or I can write it as 150 is equal to 10x plus 2 by 3 into Vx is nothing but 15x minus 5. Simplifying this 150 is equal to 10x plus we have 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5 that is 5 into 2 is 10 that is 10x minus 10 into 5 is 50 or I can write it as 200 is equal to 20x or x is equal to 10 amp. So therefore, so therefore here Vx is equal to Vth is equal to 15x minus 5 that is Vx is 15 into x minus 5 or Vth is equal to 15 into x value is 10, 10 minus 5 is 5, therefore Vth is equal to 75 volt. So thus we found the first parameter that is Vth. Now let me calculate ISC. ISC is nothing but short circuit current. So as we see in this circuit, the terminal A and B is open. Now to calculate ISC, we are supposed to short terminal A and B. If we short terminal A and B, this circuit, this loop will become closed loop. So the current will start flowing. That current is known as short circuit current. Now let me draw the equivalent circuit. That is, let me short A and B. So now let me short these two terminals. So current through this loop is now ISC. Now we will try to find ISC. So this ISC can be calculated. 
either by using loop analysis method or by using node analysis method. Now let me calculate ISC using node analysis method. Uh, I will consider this node as, so this node will be same as VX because voltage across 15 ohm register is VX, the, the voltage at this node is VX itself. So let the current through this branch is ISC. So current through this branch is ISC. So let uh, the current through this branch is I1, current through this branch is I2. Now apply KCL to node Vx. So KCL says that incoming current is equal to outgoing current. Here we can see that ISC, 5 amp, I2 and I1 all are outgoing current. So I can represent it as ISC plus 5 plus I2 plus I1 is equal to 0. Let me express all currents in terms of voltages that is node voltages. So here ISC is nothing but Vx divided by 30, Vx by 30 plus 5 plus I2 is nothing but Vx by 15, 15 plus I1 is nothing but Vx minus 150 minus Vx by 3 whole divided by 10 is equal to 0. So simplifying this, I can write it as Vx by 30 plus Vx by 15 plus Vx by 10 minus 150 by 10 minus Vx by 30 is equal to minus 5 or I can simplify this as Vx in bracket 1 over 30 plus 1 over 15 plus 1 over 10 minus 1 over 30 is equal to minus 5 plus 150 by 10 is 15 that is 15. Let me simplify here. So solving this part we will get Vx into 0 0.1667 is equal to 15 minus 5 is 10 therefore Vx is equal to 10 divided by 0 0.1667 which is almost equal to 60 volt. So therefore, ISC is equal to V of Vx by 30. Vx by 30, that is 60 divided by 30 is equal to 2 amps. So therefore, short circuit current ISC is equal to 2 amp. So this is the short circuit current. Now we have to consider, we have to calculate the third parameter that is RTH. So RTH will be equal to VTH divided by ISC. That is Thevenin's resistance RTH is equal to VTH divided by ISC. So VTH is 75 volt. 75 divided by ISC is 2 therefore RTH is equal to 37.5 ohms. Now let me draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit plus minus this is VTH which is equal to 75 volts is in series with RTH which is equal to 37.5 ohm A and B. So this is Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Thank you for watching.